I called home from Ireland to tell you to take Aiden to the hospital. Dad picked up the phone. Wait, I didn't think wait, there was any wait. time. Wait, wait, what were you doing in my house? I wanted to see my grandson. Since when? You've never taken an interest in my boys before. Not on their birthdays, not Christmas. You didn't even show up to Jake's memorial. You're probably getting drunk just like you did the night Jake died. I do not want your father anywhere near my boys. I've already lost one son. There's no way in hell I'm going to bury another one because of him. Family's never been high on your priority list, has it, Luke? So why, all of a sudden, did you come over to see Aiden? Hoping to find absolution? Taking comfort in knowing you didn't kill Lucky's real son? Jake was my son as much as Aiden. But Jake wasn't your blood and neither is Cameron. Pretty much explains why your father's never taken an interest in them. But Aiden... Aiden's different. He's got your smile and your mother's eyes. God help us when we figure out what he inherited from your dad. This is not helping, okay? No, no, this is good. Let her speak. The last time we talked, you were blaming yourself. You were asking my forgiveness because you didn't keep a closer eye on Jake. It turned my stomach, Elizabeth, to hear that misplaced forgiveness. This is better. This is healthy. Dad, this is not the time for your twisted philosophical dissertations. I don't want or deserve your forgiveness, Elizabeth. I will never ask anything of you. I don't expect anything. I don't want anything. But it's very good that you've finally taken the bullseye off your own back and put it here where it belongs. I've never been big on sharing my personal business, ever. Tracy would be happy, I'm sure, to sit down with you and talk about that. She'd like to talk about how I'm the most selfish man in the world because I won't share my personal business. But luckily, we're divorcing, so she's not going to have to be inflicted with my miserable life. And I'm very glad that you and I no longer have to share the responsibility for Jake's death. Am I supposed to be impressed that nothing can break through that wall you've built around you? Not guilt, not regret. Certainly not the death of my son. If that's what you need to believe. Damn you, Luke, just take responsibility. I don't know what you expect me to do to demonstrate that I take full responsibility for Jake's death. I do. I've never denied it. I've never tried to escape culpability. But you don't see it that way, and I find no pleasure in arguing with you. I just hope someday, somehow, We'll be able to get past this. And then what? And, and then you want me just to welcome you back into Aiden's life? I can promise you that it's never going to happen. Why don't I just uh, take you back to your room? You can rest. You know, we can talk. Sleep's about... not going to change how I feel about your father or what he took from us. We were supposed to protect him, Lucky. We were supposed to keep him safe. We promised Jason we would give him a good life. He had a good life. He was four. He was four years old. He never even had the chance to live a life. He never got to go to school. He never got to play on his favorite soccer team. He was cheated out of the future. We were cheated because of him. You never even slowed down, did you, Luke? You just kept on going. You just ran over my baby. You never even down. stopped. I'm not going to calm down. I am not going to calm down, and I'm not going to stand here and listen to your father tell me that this is therapeutic and or that I should move past losing my son. This is your fault, Luke. This is your fault that I lost my, my, my baby. Well, hey, hey, help! Somebody! Help! I need a wheelchair. The fact that you ended up in a heap on my floor tells me otherwise. Could you get a doctor to check her out just in case? Yes, I'll page one as soon as I get it back to the room. And as soon as you guys stop with all this hollering and screaming that you've been doing. Now, I don't care who was involved or what it was about. You are still recovering, and you need to take it easy. Okay, just take me to my room, please. And how about you? How are you doing?
Okay, your turn. Let's hear it. I've already said my piece. No. You blamed my drinking, and you educated me on the 12 steps. Beyond that, you said when I sobered up, we could move forward. Do we really need to revisit this, Dad? What's your point? My point? My point is I'm sober. Let's move forward. Is this your idea of moving forward? Dad, Elizabeth, she almost drowned, okay? Aiden's been sick. Jake is still on her mind all the time. She's on emotional overload. All you did here was just push her past her breaking point. And you were there to catch her. Would you have liked it better if I just let her fall? You keep doing this, Lucky. She's going to rely on you. She's going to depend on you again. She's going to expect you to be there. And because you are the man you are, you will be there. And before you know it, you'll be playing house all over again. Don't. Don't make the same mistake I made with your mother. You're too smart for that. What was the mistake? Was it falling in love? Or letting it go? Everything okay in here, doctors? Because I'm really not in the mood to put out any more fires today. Hey, what happened? You all right? Uh, well, then we'll get out of your way so you can rest. Elizabeth, can I uh, just say one more time how, how sorry I am for everything that Lisa put you through? I feel responsible that she came to this hospital because of me. Nothing that she did is your fault, Patrick. Well, she's gone for good, and she's not going to hurt anybody anymore. Hopefully we can all get back to normal, and I know you'll appreciate that. Come in. Hey. How you feeling? Embarrassed that I caused a scene. I'm sorry. I, I should have told you sooner. Dad was the one who brought Aiden in. Why would you take a chance like that? He was the last person I expected to pick up the phone when I called home from Ireland and I was so worried about Aiden, I just, I didn't think I had a choice. Okay. All right. I mean, I, I know Aiden is going to be fine because your dad was able to get him here. I just, just wish it wasn't him. I understand. So when you were in Ireland, what happened? How did you know Aiden was in trouble? Long story. I went to Ireland because of Siobhan. She left this letter explaining that if I went to a certain churchyard, I would receive some kind of message. Did you? Yeah, I did. But it wasn't from her. It was from Jake. From Jake? I know this is going to sound crazy, but it's what happened. I don't know how to explain it, but I went to the churchyard and I fell asleep, okay? When I woke up, there were these pebbles laying on the ground beside me, but they had been arranged into words, and it spelled out, Go home, Daddy. I know. I mean, I, I thought that I was just losing my mind, but it happened again, and each time the message got more specific. And then it said, go home, Daddy. Hayden, sick. And at that point, I'm telling you, I mean, I, I just, I, I wasn't going to take any chances, so I called home. Dad picked up the phone. 
Jake knew that Aiden needed you. He knew that I needed you too. Chasing ghosts, Dodge. Sometimes they chase back. I'm taking off to chase a few of my own. I feel like we've been given a second chance, you know, to get things right with Aiden. Look, we've, uh, we've been over this. It's one of the reasons why I left town. No, 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 you, you left because you blamed yourself for Siobhan's death. You needed to to get away, to deal with all of that guilt. No, I could see where this was headed between us, and it's a road that I just, I can't go down no, again. No, like, it, it, it's not just me. Cameron and Aiden want us to be a family, too. And so does Jake. That's why he sent you home. You don't understand. No, like, you don't no, understand. Listen to me. I don't have the strength to have you. And then lose you again. But we created a beautiful child together. A child who's alive and well because of you. We can finally give Aiden the life and the family that Jake never had. <laughs> 